What's up, I'm Tyler Casey, and today I'm gonna to be talking about one reason why your videos really suck. I get this all the time, like, hey, how do you get your videos to look so HD? Hey, how do you get that look and feel in your videos? Well, there's one simple thing that everyone misses when creating videos, and it's one of the most important things. If you guys are new to my channel, here I talk about music videos that I direct, I break them down, I talk about the lighting, I post behind the scenes, and I talk about film gear. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in that. So let's get into it. This all boils down to frame rate. You gotta know what your output's gonna be when filming your video. All music videos and films, I really suggest filming in 24 frames per second or at least exporting in that. You definitely wanna export in 24 frames per second. This is what all Hollywood films are exported at and it looks the best and it's what we're used to seeing. If you're gonna do 30 frames per second, this is maybe for more business type videos and it has more of a TV type feel. That's up to you, Instagram does support 30 frames per second. Then if you're gonna do 60 frames per second, if you wanna export in that, that's more for like gaming videos to get a really fluid looking look. But you're probably thinking, hey Tyler, I wanna film 60 frames per second on my GH5 in 4K and I don't want it to look like that. Well, that's where your sequence settings come into play. You can still film 60 frames per second and export in 24. This is how you're able to do slow motion. But too often I still see people film in 60 frames per second and get choppy slow motion. So today I'm gonna go over how to set up your sequence settings, how I import my footage, and basically the gist of that. So let's get into it. You go into your files, then I sort it by list view, then I go over here, sort by, then I go all the way down in here to frame rate. There we go. And then I'm gonna organize all that. So then I'm gonna take all my 24 frame per second, 23.978 or 976. Um, pretty sure it rounded up right there. So I'm just gonna hit Control X and I'm gonna create a new folder and put that in 24 FPS. Cool. And this is also helpful if you're gonna make proxies. I'll probably make another video talking about my whole music video process and talking about how I make my proxies and whatnot. But this is just a good way to organize your footage from the get-go. And then you'll do 60 FPS right here and you'll put all those 60 frames per second. If you have 180 on the GH5, it's just gonna be read as 24 frames per second automatically, so you're good to go there. Okay, cool, so I have, two, I have a 24 frame per second clip and I have a 60 frame per second clip imported into my timeline. So if I wanna check the frame rate as well, I can go right here. So let's say I'm gonna export this at 24 frames per second. All you have to do to make a sequence at 24 frames per second is drag down right here and it creates a sequence right there. And then you get this icon right here. So we could rename this sequence 124 FPS. <clears throat> Looks a little weird, but go ahead and click properties and right there we can see it's in 4K and then we can see it's at 23.976 frames per second, cool. But what some people do is they don't check what clip they have and they go ahead and just drag this out. They just go ahead and drag this clip out onto the timeline and then you get another sequence, check that, 60 frames per second. So when they go to slow down their slow motion, it's gonna play back choppy. Compared to when we drag the 60 frame per second into this clip, it's gonna play nice and smooth when I slow it down. The export right here, it's automatically gonna have you set at 60 frames per second. And you really don't want that for a music video. You definitely need to pay attention to what you're exporting your frame rates are. Always make sure you're exporting at 24 frames per second, unless if you're going for a different type of look or feel. This is one thing I see a lot of editors and music video creators out there mess up on. Frame rate is a basic thing that you guys need to know, so definitely make sure to practice this. If you guys have any questions about frame rate, feel free to comment them below. I'll do my best to respond. Make sure to subscribe and check me out on Instagram if you guys have any more questions. I'm Tyler Casey and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.